Have you ever played Geometry Dash and suddenly realized, man, I am absolute garbage at this game? Well, today's your lucky day because in this video, I will be building a level that will train you to get better at Geometry Dash. So here's the level. It's going to be like a 10 levels of difficulty level, but it's going to be like much harder and it's going to train your skill to its full potential. So level one, we're going to mainly focus on the cube game mode. And I think we could start off with timing. So maybe jumps like these because these are going to be very important. So we'll have some of these just like that. So boom, boom. See, pretty simple jumps. Actually, I feel like we could buff these a little bit by doing that. So yeah, there we go. We have the first two jumps of our level. Now let's make a three spike and we'll just buff it just a little bit. Not too much though. We can make like maybe a club step monster or something. And there's our club step monster. Beautiful. We're actually going to move this back a little bit. So now I think I'm going to make like some spamming and timing parts. So let's see. Let's get these blue orbs. Size these up a little bit. Make them multi-activate and just copy and paste these just like this. Grab these spikes. Just swipe and swipe that all over there. Add this. All right. Now this kind of creates like a spam part. You see, it's a little bit tricky, but it should be doable. Let me actually check the hitboxes just to make sure these are like, you know, in the right spot. Where are the hip? Oh, there, there, there are the hitboxes. That. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. It might be too hard, Loki, but uh, if it is too hard, we could just add this in right here. And then boom, problem solved. Okay, now we're gonna add these like black blizzard timings right here. So you wanna make like a structure kind of like this. Uh, but yeah, you wanna make like a structure like this. We're actually gonna move it back a little bit. Add like a yellow pad right here. Bunch of pink orbs. And then just spikes at the bottom so you can't drop down. And let's see if this works out. Yeah, just like that, but I think it might hit your head like right here. So let's do something like that Yeah, perfect. In fact, we could probably make this a little bit longer There we go. Oh, we have to get rid of one more. All right. There 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 Yep, beautiful now. Let's move on to level two, which will be focused mainly on the ship game mode So what first comes to mind when you're in the ship is straight fly. So that's exactly what we're gonna do but first, we have to size this up to normal size, just like that. And then we can make some awesome straight fly. And then boom, we have our mini corridor right here. We can add these for like extra decoration. Add some more. Wow, that is beautiful. And you know what? Just to make this a little bit more hard, we can make it get a little bit tighter over time. So like every two spikes, we can move it up and down. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. That's stupid. Actually, yes, we will. We will do that because I love stupid things. See, look, you see how it gets a little bit tighter. So that will practice, you know, your shift mechanics. It's not really that hard, but you know, you're just getting, you're, you're getting ready for the basics of Geometry Dash. Hey, this level might also help you be able to beat your first extreme demon. Probably not, but hey, try it out for yourself. Let me know if this helps you. Now we're going to add some of these like, I actually don't know what to add. Ah, okay, wait, let's add some like dash orbs right here. That is not a dash orb. Uh, what am I talking about? We're going to add some of these, but make it kind of like that. You know what I mean? So we can make it like this and then boom, boom. And then, yes, then yes. So you have to go like that, ah. And then you hit this green orb up here. And you'll have to go through this gap again, but like maybe something like this. Awesome sauce. Oh. And I love these timings so like well, they're not really a timing But like when you have to hit a blue orb, but you keep you keep like holding like that you see so it makes you launch back up So we could add maybe like these spikes right here. So you don't you know now Let's see. Can you just not hit the blue orb right here? Okay. Yeah, so 
I'm gonna teach you something nice right here. So you see this white square thingy. You're gonna wanna place this right on top of your blue pad and set this to one. Then you can choose any saw you want. I'm just gonna go with an invisible one right here. Place it wherever you want it to be. You actually just wanna set it to group one. And then watch this. So now you have to hit that blue pad. Blue orb. Gosh, I get all the pads and orbs mixed up. So when you hit that blue orb, it'll make the saw disappear. But if you don't hit the blue orb, it won't disappear. So guys, when you're playing this level, hit the blue orb! And for this part, we could probably just add some more straight fly because who doesn't love straight fly? And now we can start moving on to the ball game mode. And you're gonna have to hit this black orb to get shot down into this ball portal because if you don't, well, then you're gonna kiss this saw and it's not gonna be very good for you. Boom, 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 ba 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 ba. Perfect. All right, so level three, I'm actually kind of clueless on what to do. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do. So I think I might just add like a ton of these timing thingies right here. Just like that. And then that. Then you'll have to hit this green orb right up here. So you have to go like that, 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 that. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna make a dash orb right here. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be quite a bit of dash orb timings. So we're just gonna make some dash orb gameplay right here. Okay. Now we're gonna add some like spikes. Now we have our dash orb timings right here. We just start filling this in. Now let's check this out. Oof, that is gonna be tough. But now we're moving on to level four, which is gonna be UFO. Now UFO is a really fun game mode in my opinion. Honestly, probably one of the better ones out of all of them. Guys, comment down below what your favorite and least favorite game modes are in the game. My favorite is obviously the wave game mode right here. My least favorite is probably either robot or ball. Those are probably the two most boring ones. And if you know what I'm about to do, you know what I'm gonna do. If you've ever watched Topi, you know, Chris Credible for the, all the OGs out there, you know what I'm about to add. Some spam! That's right, we're adding spam to this level. Extreme spam, not easy spam. You need to know how to spam in some of these upcoming levels, so that's what I'm gonna give you. Some insane spam. And I'm not talking about the food spam, I'm talking about jitter click spam. So you have this. Okay, why is it set all the way back over here, bro? <laughs> why is it so far away? No, we're bringing this more, we're bringing this more closer, like that. Still some pretty easy spam, but... It's still doable, and it's not supposed to be impossible, so. Alright, now we're just gonna copy and paste this whole thing right here, just like that. Yeah, just to make sure that you have to spam at this part, I just thought I would let you know, you know, spam, 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 spam! <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add some of these UFO timings right here. I don't know if you've seen these in levels, but basically, why is it so zoomed out, bro? What the heck? Just some of these, you know, easy timings, but not too hard. Now we're moving on to level five, which is gonna be Wave. One of the best game modes in the game. I don't care what you guys say, it is by far the best game mode in Geometry Dash. Now, I do have a lot of wave presets right here. Like you see, I have this thing where it just gets harder and harder. Look at that extreme face. Ah! Okay, no. <laughs> That's quite big. But then we have this super big one that gets tighter. Oh gosh, should I add this in, guys? Nah, because that's like 55 seconds long. We'll just add this one because this will mess around with the time warp thingy triggers right here. And that will help you get better at the game for sure.
This will help out with your spam mechanics. And now we'll add some more timings and stuff like that. And now let's just start filling it in. And then now look, we have our wave structure. Let's test this out. So we have the part that gets harder and harder. Test your spam limits. All right, and then we have this. Oh, it's kind of like a bad transition from the speed changes, but hey, I didn't make this too hard. I was just trying to make this, you know, a little light gameplay. I think how I'm gonna fix this time warp part is just moving this back. That way this makes us more consistent. That way you get more reaction time to the new speed. I am the That's gonna do it for day one. We managed to complete five of the 10 levels that we're gonna be able to do this video. We were able to cover wave, UFO, ball, ship, and cube. You guys are gonna wanna stick around to these next levels because it's gonna get insane. Welcome back guys to day two of me trying to help your guys' skills in Geometry Dash. On day one, we left off with wave, but now we're gonna be moving on to the robot game mode. I don't really have a plan for the robot, so I'm just gonna add a ton of these timings right here. And you know what, we're gonna add 10 of them just because why not? Nine, ten. Oh, what? Ten. There we go. Now let's add the numbers. Ten! Let's go. I'm actually kind of scared to see if I'm able to actually even do this. Oh gosh, I might have made this too hard. Let's test this out in normal mode. Oh, okay, we got to four. Gosh, okay, that's a little tricky. Wait for the end of the video because I'll be giving you the ID to this level at the end of this. Okay, now we can move on to level seven, which will be spider. And I just realized this, but I haven't been using like any of these speed changes. That's right, we're going four times speed, no messing around, let's go. I'm just not gonna make a ton of gameplay for this because like truly, robot is the most boring, garbage, disgusting, horrific game mode in Geometry Dash. It is so boring. Like the video if you guys agree. And if you dislike, hey, that's just your opinion, bro. I'm joking though, Rob Top did a fantastic job on all these game modes. I could never make a game like this. See, pretty easy. Even though it's at four times speed, I bet anyone could do this. And then we're gonna make this like mini spider part, which is gonna be really sick. Watch this, guys. Okay, wait, maybe it's not as sick as I thought it was gonna be, but you know, it's whatever. It kind of reminds me of I Spy With My Little Eye, this part right here. Wait, now I'm actually kind of interested. I'm gonna search it up. I Spy With My Little- Okay, okay, so I was right. And now for the last level, we are gonna be doing Swing Copter, the newest game mode to Geometry Dash. And I know I said this is gonna be 10 levels of difficulty, but I forgot there's only eight game modes in Geometry Dash. So bear with me here, guys. Oh wait, and we could also make level 10 this reverse portal. I know, guys, right? The worst game mode in Geometry Dash. No, this is the worst portal in the game. Not this robot. This one right here. This is terrible. This is awful. Are you stupid or something? I don't know why this has ever revolved around Geometry Dash, but it was terrible. Rob Top, that was your worst idea by far. I'm sorry to say it. Anyways, level eight, we're gonna make some of these pillar thingies. Just spread them around like this. So you do the spider part, pop, 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 pop. And then you get set into the swing copter, which isn't even touching the ceiling. So we're gonna have to move these all back up again. And we're also gonna make this big and one time speed. And now it should be good. Yeah, see, this is what I wanted to do. Then we're gonna add the spam part in here with some of these little saws, making it a little bit more interesting. And I think that's gonna conclude for level eight. Also guys, if you couldn't tell, I'm trying to make this under one minute long, just so this isn't like a three minute long level. Like who wants to play that? No, this is short and simple and to the point.
All right, now we're moving on to dual cube. We're not gonna do all the game modes in dual. We're just gonna do ship in particular. Ship, no, cube in particular. Gosh, man, I've been mixing up all of my things. I've been mixing up orbs with pads, ship with cube. It's just all been a nightmare, guys. But this video is coming to an end soon, and you guys will be able to see me complete this level, and I'll give you the ID to this level. Just stick around a little bit longer with me, because we are at level nine. Level nine, I'm not gonna make too hard, actually. We're just gonna make some of these, you know, jumps just like this, three spike jump. Back to a two spike. Pretty simple, right? Okay. And then what would actually be pretty cool is if, is if we add some of this spam right here. And then we add H blocks along these blocks. So you have to spam over these spikes in dual mode. Just like that. We're actually going to move this back a little bit like that and now we're gonna move on to level 10 which will be beloved reverse portal no i can't do it to you guys i'm not gonna end the level like that no way jose not with the reverse game mode nah -uh. we're ending it off with the classic three spike jump oh! how you end every level bloodbath cataclysm wait cataclysm doesn't end with the three spike jump that's besides the point this is the most og option right here and you get with the three spike and then we're gonna add our simple maybe add just a little bit more exclamation points okay now that's a little excessive we're getting rid of those exclamation points one will do it just fine wow look at it in all of its glory it's beautiful it's extravagant it's a masterpiece yeah but guys i'm gonna show you how you make your levels 10 times better by using this one trick you're gonna want to hit escape select all then you want to go to edit group go up to this extra thing right here do not enter do not fade and no glow guys it will make your level look 10 times better but now you know what time it is it is time to start verifying this level all right level one okay we died at one percent definitely not good progress don't tell me i'm gonna have to nerf these oh there we go we got it okay oh nine percent not too bad Oh, 13%, not bad. No, 29%, yo, we were going. Dude, that ball is getting so hard. All right, guys, I'm making some nerfs. Actually, uh, I don't know. Should I make nerfs, guys? Yeah, okay, well, I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna make these scoot in just a little bit. Just to make this a little bit more doable. Oh, dang it. Ah, man, that ball timing is so hard. I might nerf it because I've died there twice already, but we'll see. made to level five guys oh no. wait level five five guys it's like the restaurant five guys okay so now i know this level's like actually possible it's just the first half is like way more unbalanced than the second half in difficulty like this is way harder level four come on come on, come on spam level five. Oh geez we're going guys Come on, come on, come on. Don't die here. Are you serious? As soon as I said that, okay, wait, that might be impossible because the spikes are literally like closed off. So we're just gonna nerf that just a little bit. Jeez, man. I didn't know that was impossible. No. Come on. This level's like probably easy demon difficulty. I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, a moderator should send this, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Imagine this got raided. That'd be kind of funny. Six. No, the robot kills me. Once more. Again, sixty percent. Oh, come on, bro. Oh my gosh, I forgot it was swing copter, but we made it to level eight, guys. I know we could do this. Come on, level seven. Oh, 
Why am I swinging so much? Come on, level nine. Oh! Yes! GG, oh my gosh, dude, I'm finally done with this level. <laughs> yes! Let's go. Okay. Thank goodness. Ten levels of pro that is what we're gonna name this level guys here is the id right here i'll pop it up bigger on screen for you guys but there you have it oh my i'm so glad i beat this level i hope you guys also enjoyed this video if you did like the video i'm trying to aim for 2,000 likes on this video and subscribe so we can get to two mil we're getting closer and closer by the day and i'm so grateful for all the support you guys have shown on the channel but for now peace out guys